Hello, everybody, and welcome back for, to some more Detective Pikachu Returns. In this episode, we are going to be uh, heading to the bamboo forest, I'm pretty sure, but it uh, looks like we got yes. some people that uh, still want to talk to us, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Sorry you had to deal with this. I know you came here to have fun. No big deal. Yeah, what are friends for? I don't mean to rush you, but do you mind if we head over to the bamboo forest to get the charcoal and ingredients now? Just around the corner on the other side of the gate. Yeah. yeah. Hey, old man. I, no, I didn't, I didn't want to talk to you. Okay. Uh, here we go. We, this, should, this should be the, the older fella. Sorry for the hassle, but I really do appreciate your help. Uh, we've got this covered. You just take it easy for a while. Feels a little pathetic. What with, what with not being able to get the charcoal myself? But I'll try and rest up. Okay, dude. Yeah. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. You know, you don't want to make uh, that back injury any any worse than it already is. I'm so glad Jessica's okay. Looks like no one shady's been around either. Let's help her out before we ask her any questions. I guess so. Yeah. Um, Hopefully this doesn't backfire on us and she gets kidnapped or something um, before we can ask her questions. That would be bad. So, so bad. All right. Yeah. Anything interesting happening in this forest? At first, he thought there wasn't much to do here, but no, he actually likes it that way. That's good. That's good. Um, You know, sometimes you just got to get used to the place, and once, you, once that happens, uh, the place can feel nice. can feel like home or whatever. We should move here too, huh? I see the appeal, but... But... There's not a single cafe around here. Oh man, how would you survive? Yeah, Pikachu's all about his coffee. Can't have his coffee, he's, he's not living, I guess. He says he and Jessica have been together for a long time now. She got a lot happier after she moved to this neighborhood. Oh, I wonder why. She enjoyed her old job a lot, but she was exhausted all the time. She seems to get on well with the people here. Sounds like she made the right decision for herself. That's good, okay. Let's head on over to the bamboo. Okay, you know that question lady is kind of creepy. Right, she's she's sure. following okay, us around. Here. Or it could be why. We dealt with that years ago. No need for this now. Now get rid of it. You can't do that, Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu! Pikachu! Really? Now of all times, you're gonna you're gonna go into a memory. I guess it, I guess it happens. If you have amnesia, anything can set it off. You know your memories. Detective Harry Goodman. Okay, this is different. Hmm. Warning: Berserk Pokemon. This is definitely the spot. Excuse me. Yo, oh, sorry, I can explain. Here, it's on the card. Oh, well, thanks. Harry Goodman, you're a detective? Uh, I'm not just a detective. Huh? I'm a great detective. Detective Harry. Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. He acts like that. I thought that was just... I don't know him being Pikachu, but he Harry actually acts like that. That's that's a that's a little a little weird kind of. Anyways, uh, well, great detective or not, I can't say I've heard of you. <laughs> well, you'd know if you were in the know, you know. Right. So here on official business, then. Just something happened to warrant investigation by a great detective. Yep, that incident with the berserk Pokemon. What? You came all the way here for that? We reported it to police, so there's no need to put yourself in danger. Plus, the bamboo forest is closed off right now. Right, understandably. It would be dangerous if the berserk Pokemon got into this area. And we all came to an agreement that we should keep the gate locked until the police gave us permission to reopen it. For now, the boss is holding the key. That all makes sense. The safety of everyone in this neighborhood is the top priority. Who's this boss you mentioned? master of the charcoal shop, he's also responsible for tending the, to the bamboo forest. That's why he has the key to the gate. 
Well, that was all very helpful, thanks. Sorry to bother you at such a busy time. Your pizzeria must be opening for lunch soon. What? How did you know I run a pizzeria? The flour and sauce on your clothes are fresh. Plus, I could smell that bamboo charcoal on you. Huh, I guess you really are a great detective. Well, I'm going to head back now. I I mean, that's... that's... Okay, yeah, sure. Just standard observation skills makes him a great detective. Why not? I'll stop by your shop later. Well, this is interesting. Hmm. Now we kind of get Harry's perspective uh, on things. There have been multiple eyewitness reports of Pokemon going berserk in the city. But I didn't think the, those same incidents would happen in a peaceful place like this. Seems like something's afoot in Rhyme City. I'll start my investigation by looking or talking to locals. Great detective tip 12. Number 12. Use those legs while investigating. Oh, I actually get to investigate? Wow. Okay. This is... I was, I was really not expecting... How long ago was this? Like, um... Because this lady is still here with her Paris. So, uh... I guess this could have happened two years ago or something. I'm a big fan of the pizzeria in this neighborhood. I could eat, it, eat there every day, no problem. I heard their pizza is famous, but eating it every day seems like overkill. Trust me, you'll understand once you try it. Alright, I will. I'd love to hear what you think of the pizza. Okay. Is this your first time in Bamboo Boro? Hmm. Yeah, it's a beautiful neighborhood. Isn't it? Between the fantastic air quality and the delicious food, life's pretty good here. That's, that's good, as long as you're living the life, you know? The other day, I heard crackling noises and a deep roar come from the Bamboo Forest came out of nowhere and it totally freaked me out. All I could think about was making sure my poor Paris was safe. That must have been scary. Were you hurt? No, I was okay. I heard later on that it was a berserk Pokemon making all that noise. The deep roar you mentioned is a helpful piece of information, but it's still difficult to guess what kind of Pokemon it was. Okay. The bamboo forest is usually so quiet and serene, but we're not allowed to go in now. Yeah, I saw the warning sign about the berserk Pokemon. The folks at the pizzeria get a lot of their ingredients from the Bamboo Forest. At this rate, they're going to be in trouble. Bamboo Forest has uh, an important role in the lives of the people here. Having a closed off must create some serious problems. Yeah, if you can't have poke or, um, what am I trying to say? If you can't have pizza, life just ain't living for, man. Gotta, gotta, gotta have pizza. Hmm. I've heard that mushrooms on Paris back are called ta takukasu. Apparently they're pretty rare. Don't worry, I won't try to take them from you. Yeah, that, that'd be good not to not to do. Oh my gosh, the Eevee! It, uh, I'm guessing it came the Sylveon. That's crazy. Where's the girl? She doesn't exist yet. She's not born yet. I don't know about that, but okay. I'm so bored. Hey kiddo, why the long face? I'm not allowed to play in the bamboo forest anymore because of the berserk Pokemon, right? Yeah, I used to go in there every day, but now it's suddenly too dangerous. I understand your frustration, but I think it's best to play this one safe. You could play somewhere else for the time being, right? Sure, but I just go in there to play. I help run errands, too. Is that right? Good for you. Plus, like, uh, I was there first, not the Berserk Pokemon. The Bamboo Forest always been my spot. I see why you're upset, but... Hey, mister, if you ever see the Berserk Pokemon, tell them to stop, okay? Eh, sure thing, kiddo. I'll let them know. Uh, you, sh you, you can let them go, uh, Harry, but I don't know if uh, that's gonna, uh, no, solve the problem, I guess. Ow! Did you hurt your back? Dude, this old man is always pulling his back. Uh, it might need to settle down a bit, man. Well, either that or it's the work he does, which is also not good, but, you know, gotta make a living. Ah, customer, sorry you have to see me like this. I promise this month's batch of bamboo charcoal is in much better shape than my back is. Oh, no, please, stay where you are. I'm well. Take a look at this. Hmm, a detective, eh? Not just a de sorry, sorry. Force of habit. Yes, I'm here to investigate the berserk Pokemon. I'd like to take a look around the bamboo forest. If you don't mind, I won't cause any trouble. The gate to the bamboo forest is locked. Can't let any berserk Pokemon into this area. The gate's staying closed for public safety, you hear? I don't care if you want to investigate. I ain't budging on this. 
All right, all right. Can I at least ask you a few questions then? Look at you, with your detective notebook and all. What do you want to know? Okay, how about, uh, you know, the berserk Pokemon in this bamboo forest? I heard this area is famous for its bamboo forest and bamboo charcoal. Yeah, you're right. Bamboo charcoal's got antibacterial and deodorizing properties, and then it can improve the quality of water and soil too. Wonderful product, really. Just put it in the room and it makes everything better. No wonder it's famous. You'll have my lower cu loyal customers to thank for that. If only I can make more. Yeah, make the charcoal ball by yourself. Pretty much. I reckon I should start looking for an apprentice. Say, you wouldn't happen to know any promising young upstarts who might be interested. Well, I have a son and a daughter, and they sure seem promising to me. I'm not sure if they're too interested in a career in making charcoal, though. Yeah, best to let your children choose their own paths in life. Thanks all the same. I'm sure I'll find an apprentice yet. Yeah. I mean... I don't know how old the, the sister is, Sophia. Sophia seems a little young to be working. Um, but uh, I guess, I guess, Harry, not Harry, Tim, I'm getting their names mixed up. Could, could, could have done that, but I think he's, he's gonna follow the path of his father and become a detective. All right, Berserk Pokemon. Berserk Pokemon, reckon it showed up about a week ago. Never seen it myself, but I heard it's making noise and causing all kinds of ruckus. Three days ago, I went to the, to the charcoal kiln and found it wrecked up something fierce. No, oh, no, that's not good. Uh, we, we, you can't have that. Can't make your charcoal then. That berserk Pokemon might have done it. Interesting. Was there anything else unusual about the area? Nah, just the wrecking kiln. Nothing seemed to be stolen. Tried to clean it up, and that's why I hurt my back. I haven't been back to the bamboo forest since. That's probably for the best. I should take it easy and leave the cleanup to the other folks here. Was my back straightened out? I'm getting back to work like you wouldn't believe it. I'll be making t trips to the bamboo forest too, of course. I ain't letting some berserk Pokemon scare me out ruin running my bamboo charcoal shop. Heh, <laughs> I like your spirit. Sounds like I should pay the wrecked charcoal kill in a visit. Alright, anything in, in this, uh, anything else about this forest, I suppose? I told you, I ain't open it, detective or otherwise. No one's allowed in. It's too dangerous. What if you run into a berserk Pokemon? I ain't opening that gate, and I ain't giving you the key either. Oh, my back. All right, all right, I hear you. Jeez. Man, don't don't get yourself worked up over this. What should I do? Now then. I gotta borrow the key to the gate in order to get into Bamboo Forest. Problem is, the master of the charcoal shop's got that key, and he's a real stubborn piece of work. He's not gonna give it to me if I tell him I need it for my investigation. Now, I need a reason to enter the bamboo forest that will actually convince him to give me the key. I just need info, any kind really, something to point me in the right direction. Maybe the people around here know something. Uh-huh, right. I'm pretty sure... I mean, I guess we were looking for information, but uh, I thought we were also already kind of doing that. I've got all kinds of good stuff. Do ya? Do you got the good stuff, man? Come get some super spicy curry. Curry's good. Yes. Hey there, thanks for stopping by. Oh, Harry, it's my absolute pleasure to welcome you to the famous Bamboo Borough Pizzeria. Uh, you're uh, a lot livelier than the last time I saw you. But of course, I'm here at the pizzeria. Good pizza starts with good energy, that's my motto. So how about some pizza for lunch? Sounds great, I'd love a slice. But before that, can I ask you a few questions? I'm happy to help with your detective work, whatever way I can. Alright. The Bamboo Boro Pizzeria is this neighborhood's most delicious attraction. Our pizza is baked to perfection with an aroma to match. Okay. That sounds delicious. I'm sure it goes well with coffee too. Absolutely. Please try some for yourself. I can picture it now. Enjoying a slice of pizza and a steaming cup of coffee while a breeze rolls through the bamboo forest. This is why our pizza shop is so popular. Right? Oh, by the way, this is a pizzeria, not a pizza shop. Is there a difference? Trust me, there's a difference. Is there, what, what's this difference? What's the difference between a pizza shop and a pizzeria? I guess, uh, you know, 
one is uh you know not not fast food or something and the other's like actual legit authentic pizza that's that's the difference man probably i don't know i really don't know the day the bamboo forest got closed off i saw some small pokemon sumo wrestling okay what are these um well i was gonna say uh was it the hair across and you know but it but probably not sumo wrestling now that's a rare sight because they wouldn't because hair cross isn't small so they have been the same Pokemon that went berserk. No way, there's no way. It's not possible, though. Did you notice anything else? Well, I heard there are some Pokemon cries and noises, but I never actually saw them. Can't really give you many concrete de details, I'm afraid. I see, thanks. Small Pokemon sumo wrestling, huh? Okay. I wonder what these Pokemon were. The closure to the bamboo forest must have caused you a lot of trouble. How are you holding up? Well, I need bamboo charcoal to run my pizzeria. So if the bamboo forest stays closed for too long, I won't be able to make my famous pizza. Hope this all gets resolved soon so I can start making charcoal runs again. Me too. I'll do my best to help you out. Okay. Do the blossom. Hi. Goodbye, I guess. Um, okay. Uh, hey, hey, dude. Time for a little rest. Uh, yeah. Um, you know... Rest is, resting is good. Always good. Gotta keep your energy levels up. No, can't get, can't wear yourself out. Welcome. How about a souvenir to remember your trip? Okay. Sure, I'll take a look. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. I bet you do great business. I'm quite proud of my selection, yes? Though it might not make much difference soon. Why is that? The Berserk Pokemon, of course. I'm worried customers will stop coming here if the situation keeps getting worse. That's bad news for a business in a tourist area. I'm actually here to investigate the Berserk Pokemon. I'm a detective. Oh really, that's a relief. I'd love to help you out with your investigation. Okay. Bamboo Boro is a wonderful place. The people and Pokemon here are all terrifically kind. Hmm. I wonder if the lush scenery and fresh air have anything to do with that. I'd love to come here one day just to sightsee or to enjoy it properly while I'm working on a case. Please do, make sure to stop by here again too. For sure. The berserk Pokemon appear in the bamboo forest re rather recently. There were crackling noises coming from the bamboo forest. And then I heard a Pokemon go roar. Pretty crazy, man. Right after that, some people came running out of the bamboo forest. They said they saw a shadow with red eyes going berserk deep in the forest. Hmm. Uh, deep in the bamboo forest, huh? You think I could talk to those people? I believe they are they were all tourists, so I'm afraid they're long gone. I see, that's too bad. Really wish I could talk to more witnesses about this. I was actually in the bamboo forest yesterday to access the storage area. Thankfully I didn't encounter any berserk Pokemon, but a bunch of bamboo stalks were broken and the paths were ruined. Uh, it was devastating. I can imagine that wasn't a pleasant sight. Still, I'm glad you're okay. By the way, or why did a souvenir shop clerk like you need to go in the, in the, into the forest? The master of the charcoal shop hurt his back three days ago, so I went in to get his supplies for him. Luckily, the storage area was undamaged. It was just the elevator that was broken. Oh, did the berserk Pokemon do that too? No, it happens quite often. The boss always fixes it. Ah, please don't tell the charcoal shop master about the broken elevator. If he finds out, he'll insist that he fix it himself despite his injured back. Ooh, looks like this is our way to get into that bamboo forest. Um, you know, Harry, Harry's gonna fix that elevator. I gotcha, my lips are sealed. Hmm, sounds like that elevator is important to the master of the charcoal shop. Shop. Yeah, you okay. probably use that. Thanks for your help. Leaving already, detective. Surely you need a few more souvenirs. Ha, huh, you're a good salesman, aren't you? I actually have just a thing for you. It's a hat, how about one for your kids? Oh hey, a kid-sized detective hat. Good call. Great detective tip, tip number 13. Always make sure to look your very best. This would probably fit Sophia's head better than Tim's. Okay, I'll take this. As for Tim, I'll get him this water bottle. Wow, really? You're gonna get him a water bottle? It better be like, you know, not, not a plastic water bottle. It better be a good water bottle. Because otherwise that's uh not a very good gift. Thank you very much, I'll wrap these up for you. 
Thanks, I hope they like their gifts. All right, I better solve this case before Sophia grows out of this hat. Time to start deducing. Time to start deducing. Okay, we can do that deducing. How can I enter the for uh, the bamboo forest? Um, is that it? No, yeah. Offer to repair the elevator. I there we see. go. Whenever the elevator's on the fritz, the old charcoal master will bend over backward to fix it, which can't be good for that injured back of his. That's what the souvenir shop owner said, more or less, which goes to show that the elevator is extremely important to him. If I tell the master of the charcoal shop that I'll fix the elevator, he'll agree to lend me the key. Okay, I'll go ne negotiate with him. Yeah, let's go start doing that, you know? Um, I'm sure uh, okay. he'll be willing to let us fix the elevator. All right, let's go see the master of the charcoal shop and convince him to let me borrow the key. I sure hope he's open to being convinced. All right, Mr. Dude, let's uh, let me fix this elevator for you. I'll put you at ease. Hey there, got a minute? Oh, it's you again. I'm still not handing over that key. I know. I'm here actually here to talk about the elevator in the storage area. I heard it breaks down a lot. Sure does, and I'm always the one who's got to fix it. Wait, it ain't gone and broke itself again, has it? Keep me in the dark again, will they? Why, I oughta. Oh, my back. Eh, easy there. They didn't tell you because they all want you to rest. Now, how do you usually fix it? Ah, oh, just give me a few whacks with some bamboo. It's like playing the drums. Seriously? No wonder the elevator keeps breaking. Your back's never gonna heal if you keep that up. I'll go fix the elevator. An amateur like you wouldn't know the first thing about fixing elevators. Stay out of it. Hey, it might not seem like it, but I'm pretty good with machines. I even fix my own car when it needs work. Is that right? <sighs> you sure you can fix it? I'll at least do a better than hitting it with this, some bamboo. What do you say? Uh, fine. Take the key. I'd rather suffer my back than you right now anyways. I figure you'll do some investigating while you're in the bamboo forest. You meet it with any danger in there, you better run for it, you hear? Sure thing, thanks. Dude, man, wh why are you so grouchy? I feel like you're a lot kinder to, to Tim and everyone. Hmm. Let's see what the sign says. Oh, it's a month's, this month's bamboo news. Attention, due to the appearance of berserk Pokemon, the bamboo forest stroll is postponed until further notice. This berserk Pokemon is an incident has really put a damper on this neighborhood, huh? Yeah. That's not very good, but let's uh let's go fix uh you know this elevator we got. Oh my gosh, that is terrifying scream. Okay. Just gotta put the key in here, and huh? This gate is surprisingly heavy. Alright, it's open. Hmm. Ah, it's so quiet here. Not even the slightest sign of a Pokemon. All right, let's see what I can find. Some uh, Pokemon tracks. Okay, I guess we gotta go this way. Makes sense. Grief. Whoa, didn't expect to find something so soon. You mean, bro? Hmm. Obviously, there's gonna be crazy stuff happening here if there's a Berserk Pokemon. I'll conduct a thorough investigation of the scene so I can figure out what exactly happened here. Okay, yeah, well, let's let's go ahead and do that. The berserk Pokemon came all the way here, huh? The old charcoal master was right to lock up the gate. Okay, let's see what I can find. Okay. These footprints paint a clear picture of what went down here. Gotta make sure not to miss anything. So we got, uh, this thing? Hmm. I guess they're scorch marks. I see scorch marks on the ground. A big one and a small one. Okay. I wonder why. There's scorch marks here on the ground. The nearby grass and the bamboo don't look burnt, though. Does it doesn't seem like there was a fire. Maybe the scorches were made by an electric type move. Ah, yeah, I was just about to say, hey, maybe it's actually Pikachu. Hmm. Pokemon f footprints, big ones and small ones. Yeah, we got some Pikachu footprints probably, and I'm gonna guess Pangoro. Judging by the depth of the big ones, the Pokemon that planted them must have been heavy. Looks like the paths, or looks like the bigger footprints keep going straight down this path. As for the smaller footprints, there are a lot of them, strangely enough. Looks like they round the corner up ahead and continue toward a side path. Okay. 
Is that it? Oh, we can examine this. You need a lot of force to scratch marks that deep. Could they have been made by some kind of machine? No. Maybe a Pokemon's claw? Probably. I mean, there's even, like, looks like claw marks on there, so... Yeah. Is that it? No. I th he's gotta say it. Maybe it's this piece. Wait, did I see something else? No? Is that it? I guess that's it. Hmm. Right? What, what am I missing, man? Oh. Alright, here we go. Found... I guess it was the bamboo. Uh, why couldn't I just have done the whole area? Anyways. Broken bamboo stalks. Looks like they're all broke at once. Is that all you're gonna say? Come on. Based on the coloration of the cross sections, this likely happened this morning. Hmm. That's all there is to see here. Okay, well, I'm glad we figured that out. Time to start deducing. Alright, let's. We can begin solving this. Okay. Alright, let's go over the information I've gathered and try to deduce what happened here. Okay, what happened in the bamboo forest? First kid boot carrying whatever. Bad weather caused lightning. It was a scuffle between two Pokemon. That's I definitely see. it. First, a different size set of footprints tell me that there was a big Pokemon and a small Pokemon. Judging by how these footprints were formed, the two definitely encountered each other here. Next, the scorches on the ground. Those were likely caused by a Pokemon using an electric type move. Based on the evidence, some Pokemon definitely got into a scrap with each other. With all that said, if I follow both sets of footprints, I should be able to find the Berserk Pokemon. Yeah. We'll find this these two Pokemon and see what's happening. Um why why they're fighting each other. Maybe they're fighting over territory or something. I follow the footprints of those two Pokemon. I should be able to get some clarity on what went down here. I just hope it'll lead me to the Berserk Pokemon. Yeah. Go this way? Okay. Huh? Is that? Hey, you okay? <laughs> easy, easy. I'm not gonna try anything. You're protecting your friend, aren't you? Whoa! Sorry! Sorry! Hmm. Oh man, so um, that Pangoro and and this Pikachu are friends? Didn't expect that. I guess there were two Pokemon that made the smaller footprints. Looks like Pancham's injured too. I'm gonna take a look. I'm try not to take off that Pikachu even more while I'm at it. Now then. I won't hurt you. I'm just gonna take a look. Pancham, it's gonna be okay, buddy. Pancham looks exhausted, and it's injured too. Must be feeling pretty lousy. The small footprints I saw earlier must have been Panchams and Pikachus. They were probably attacked by a big Pokemon. Or... I guess there's another Pokemon. I don't know. Pikachu is protecting Pancham. Looks pretty worked up. Guess it doesn't like humans. That's right. It would make sense if the scorch marks I saw on the ground earlier were caused by so Pikachu using an electric type move. Yeah. Anything else? There's gotta be something else. Oh. Can I examine that? Or is that the same thing? Seems like it can't move its arms and legs too well. Maybe it's paralyzed. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I have a good sense of what's going on with these Pokemon now. Okay. Pancham's low on energy and paralyzed too. It's in the worse shape than I thought. All right, so what else? What are we doing here? What can I use to treat Pancham's injury? I might find something if I search around town. I just need to keep looking until I find something. Hang in there, Pancham. Help is on the way. Okay, gotta find maybe some kind of medicine for this Pancham. I'm guessing. All right, let's let's talk to some people then. See, um, if we could find out. Some way to heal Pancham. Is something wrong? Hmm. I found an injured Pokemon. Do you know where I can find anything to heal it with? You should go to the herbal remedy shop. Their stuff works for everything. Hey, yeah. Med herbal medicine might do just the trick. I'll head over there now. Thanks. Oh, man. What do you want to know? 
Uh, you know anything about a Pikachu? The Pikachu, eh? That's new to the area. Only started seeing it around recently. Seems a prickly sort, if you ask me. Best not bother it too much. Yeah, I learned that firsthand. It stood its ground to protect an injured Pancham. Gutsy little Pokemon, eh? That's worthy of praise in my book. Okay. Do you have any sort of medicine by chance? Are you hurt? Uh, I, wa I warned you about going in there. Nah, it's not for me. There's an injured Pancham that needs some help. Ah, I see. Hmm. Well, let me think. How about this bag of ice? I reckon you can use it to ice its wound. Yeah, that might be useful. Um, good to help uh, at least a little bit. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Thanks. Okay, uh, um, let's see if we can find anything else. Um, or if that's, uh, that's it, you know? Yes. Hey, what's happening, pizza me pizzeria manager? I'm happy to help with your detective work in whatever way I can. Okay. Apparently, a Pikachu recently started living in the bamboo forest. As an electric-type Pokemon in a place full of grass and bug-type Pokemon, it really stands out. I just hope it hasn't run into any berserk Pokemon. Hmm. I actually encountered that Pikachu earlier. It seemed pretty wary of, po of people. Oh yeah? I'm glad to hear it's okay. Wait, does that mean you managed to borrow the key from the charcoal shop master? Sure did. Hmm. Could you help me out with something? I came across an injured Pancham, and it's pretty rough in shape. Oh no, an injured Pancham? Hmm, first and foremost, it needs to get strength back. I know, take this. Wait, a whole pizza? That's right, it's made with healthy herbs. Uh, yeah, okay, that, that maybe. If there's some herbs in there, so... That Pancham will be back to full strength in no time, once it has a belly full of this. Uh, see, thanks. Okay. Uh, nothing. How about you? No? Okay. Uh, oh yeah, you, you're the herbal shop lady. Oh, welcome. Sorry, but we don't have much in stock right now. An herbal shop. Remedy shop with no herbal remedies. So, just a shop then. We sold through most of our inventory. The only left to get more ingredients, but he still is not back yet. I guess I caught you at a bad time. Eh, not really. I'm just holding down the fort here, so I've got plenty of time to talk. In that case, could I ask you a few questions? Oh, is this your card? Let's see here. A detective? Wow, you don't meet one of those every day. Ask away, I guess. I'll answer whatever I can. I'm pretty bored right now anyway, so this is perfect. Ask me whatever you want. Apparently, there's, there's a Pokemon going berserk in the bamboo forest. Cost us all sorts of trouble. What if this... If it was just in a bad mood, maybe I'll give it some herbal medicine if, if we run into each other. Good grief. Love where your head's at, but that'd be pretty dangerous. Better steer clear. Still, I wonder if herbal medicine works on Pokemon too. Of course it does. Herbal medicine is amazing. It can bring relief just to just about any ailment. I take some every day, which is why I'm always full of energy. <laughs> well, that's one mystery solved. There are all kinds of ingredients for herbal medicine in the bamboo forest. Plants, mushrooms, even shed Pokemon skin. The bamboo forest is closed off right now though. Is that why the owner's away? Yeah, he had to go somewhere far off to find the ingredients he needs. Good guess. Sounds like a hassle. Maybe a little bit, but I hear he finds some better or more ingredients over there or something, so uh, I guess it's not too bad. Could you help me out with something? What's up? We only have herbal medicine here. That's exactly what I need. There's an injured Pancham that could use some attention. It's very weak. I think it's paralyzed too. You know, I think I have just the thing. It should be right here. This heal powder should cure its paral paral paralysis. There we go. That's the word. Perfect. Thanks a million. I wanted to give you an energy route too, but I think we're out. Sorry about that. They work wonders for restoring that strength. No worries at all. The heal powder on its own will be a huge help. It's about the energy route. Do you know where I can find one? I'd like to track one down myself if possible, so I'd appreciate any bits of info you can offer. Er, uh, I'm assuming they aren't trade secrets or something. Sorry, I'm not really supposed to share that kind of stuff. Yeah, I figured. Guess it was worth a shot. The owner's son always goes out to Bamboo Force to collect energy roots. He's got a real knack for finding them, but he won't tell us adults how he does it. The owner just leaves the job to his son at this point. He won't share his, his tips with any of the adults, huh? Interesting. Where is he now? He used to collect rocks in the bamboo forest before it was closed off. I think he just plays around here. Thanks. I'll go see if I can find him. I'm guessing it's the kid at the, you know, beginning or over 
by bam the bamboo forest so let's head over to that kid yo hmm. kid hey man can you tell us uh where you can find some energy roots please hey kiddo i heard your dad owns the herbal remedy shop you visited our shop huh find anything good yeah i got some heal powder they were out of energy roots though oh energy roots there's a trick to finding those so i've heard could you give me some pointers i need to find one for to help an injured pokemon um, so you go inside the bamboo forest, right? And then the energy roots are... The energy roots are where? I don't know. I, should I really share my secret? It's kind of cool being the only one who could find them. How about this? I'll tell you if you could get me an oval stone. Really, kid? You're gonna play hardball with me? Uh, fine. I'll get you an oval stone. Where does one find an oval stone anyway? Happini has them. If you see a bush moving in bamboo forest, sometimes an happini will come out. A bush in the bamboo forest, huh? Okay, I'll give my eyes, keep my eyes peeled. All right, guess we gotta go find an oval stone now. All right, happini, come out, come out to wherever you are. I guess we gotta go this way. Um, probably the only way we can really go. It's uh, a, a, a fungus, that's uh, cool, I guess. Happini, in here? Hmm. Huh? Did something just move? Did we did we find our? Oh nope, that's a shift tree. That's kind of scary. You could like whirlwind us out of here or something. Oh, it's a shift tree. You scared me, pal. Or maybe I scared it. Yeah. Hey, my bad. I'll be careful next time. Okay. Nothing there. Guess we can maybe keep going this way. Kind of big. Hmm. This path is also blocked by bamboo. I'll check it out after I help Pancham. All right. Um, looks like that might be the big boy's place or something. All right. Uh, is this bush? Is it a bush I can check? It looks like. No. Oh, okay. I think I heard something just now. Happini. Oh yay! Can can we borrow an egg? That'd be um, nice if you would do that for us. It's a happini. The thing you're holding is an oval stone, right? Not an egg? Oh, you're giving it to me. Thanks. You're one generous Pokemon. Oh, thank you. All right, let's um, go return to the, the kid. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. We got your oval stone for you. Do you have an oval stone? Hmm. Is this what you're looking for? Yeah, that's it. Let's consider it a symbol of our friendship. Take good care of it, okay? I will, thank you. I'll tell you my secret to finding energy roots now. Behold, a berry. Yup, a nana berry is Bettlebee's favorite. If you see a hole in the ground, try giving one, ho holding one of these near it. Bettlebee will smell the berry and come out. Once it does, look inside the hole. That's where the energy roots are, huh? All right, I'll give it a shot, thanks. Good luck, mister. I hope you can help that injured Pokemon. Yeah, that'd be, yeah. Yeah, let's let's hope all right i believe we just have to go down this way because i saw some dirt being dug up over here um so we just give this a net uh this hole on a nab and hopefully we'll get our energy roots a hole in the ground is this it if this works bundleby should come out hopefully there's our bundleby guys you know, I just realized I don't think there's that many rabbit Pokemon. Uh, it's I feel like there should be more, but um, maybe there's you know if it's a rabbit, it's kind of a rabbit, so they don't they don't really add more Pokemon. I feel like uh, that is something the Pokemon Company, you know, like th there's there's a lot of Pokemon like that they don't have based off of animals, and you'd be like, why haven't they done that yet? Uh, I don't know. Whoa, you scared me. Popped out before I could even take out the Nana berry. Oh, you smell my berry. Hey, hey, don't go shoving your ear in my pocket. What? But it'll be... Took my Nana berry. Oh, well. Guess it was meant for you anyway. You take that and I'll take a look in this hole. Yeah, you got... Can, can I take this energy root you have in here? There's something in here. One, two, three. Whoa, look at that shape. This is definitely an energy root. All right, nice. Um, Time to start deducing. All right, we can do that real quick. Um, okay, how can okay. I heal Pancham's injury? 
All right, I found some of the things that might help. I just gotta evaluate which of them will work best for Pancham. I mean, I could also just choose something at random and see what happens. But Pancham is in pretty rough shape. I probably shouldn't overwhelm it with stuff that might not work. I'll choose something I know will make it feel better. Probably this. <laughs> I mean, it's it's medicine, you know, so that'll definitely help. Pancham's low on energy and paralyzed. The obvious answer for answer for treating those two things is an energy root and heal powder. I'll bring them to Pancham right away. Alrighty, everyone. That's gonna do it for this episode. Um, okay. So next time, I'll give Pancham the medicine it needs. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.